Ahoy hoy. Um, first things first, thank you all very much for clicking like and um, viewing my previous video and my entry to this terrible thing of making guitar from nothing in about a month. Um, it's allowed me, bizarrely, to do a lot of things on the YouTube channel already. So, um, it's got a real name now. So it's YouTube stroke C stroke Sad Fernando Guitars. Is that an official thing? Anyway, and there's a little icon down there. And I can say like and subscribe. And at the end of the video, there's little things that will pop up. It's all very exciting. I have been sitting in front of the computer doing that. Um, anyway, I'm in the workshop. It is day... How can I have already lost track on day four? I think it's day four. So I thought I'd give you a little um, look around what's going on. So, anyway, sorry, that was uh, an Amazon delivery. So, um, quick look around the workshop. It is very messy at the moment because I have been working. So, day four, I chose some timbers. Um, so, we're going with a flame maple neck. There's a little bit of flame in there. Once it's shaped up and dyed, that should look quite nice. Going with a basswood body. Um, that's still got, oh, hang on. yep, that's still got tape on it from the template and the routing. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I used a table router. The Triton table router is behind me, which is also underneath the sander thicknesser. Um, if you've got a limited space, you know, things have to multitask in areas. Um, first of the hardware is turned up, so the bridge, Wilkinson Compensated. Um, it's a traditional bridge, but with compensated brass saddles. Um, I think Wilkinson's products are fantastic. Um, excellent for the price. Um, the guy's really smart. You know, he looks at what people want and what's gone wrong with it before and how to fix that in the simplest and best engineering terms. Also, fretwise turned up, except I forgot to look carefully. Can you focus? It's stainless steel. Um, I'll probably have a go on mock-up and putting them in. I've not used stainless steel frets before and I hear horror stories. So that might be an issue. Um, rest of the workshop let's have a look round. so yeah always need a little amp to try things out <laughs> pillar drill we'll come back to pillar drills and, and how to choose the right one later obviously ipod you need terrible acoustic that may well end up in the bin um bits of guitars that need to be done Yes, that is an original HM Strat strap, because in the late 80s, I could only afford the strap. 
Axminster Buffer. It's it was about 50 quid. It's fantastic. Um, polish all sorts of things from nuts to frets on that bad boy. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, it's not the biggest thing, but it does the job a lot better than uh, a polishing wheel on a, uh, you know, on a Dremel. But this is the latest purchase, which I've been meaning to buy for ages. So the Triton Oscillating Belt Sander. Um, why do you need one? Well, haven't you got something like that? I've got that. Um, the disc bit's okay. The bit that isn't okay is the belt bit because it's um, a really bad rubber belt that runs it and strips the teeth very quickly. I don't like it. So um, this was an offer and I bought it. Just a couple of things to point out, apart from, if you don't know what an oscillating sp spindle, uh, oscillating spindle belt sander does. Nice flat bit, and more importantly, it's got a small radius end at one end and a large radius end at the other. Why is that useful? Well, you can get one end of the headstock in there and one in round there and sand it off nice and easily. It's a great bit of kit. If it was a choice between that and the normal spindle sander, get this one because you can take this stuff off and uh, just change it into a normal spindle sander. Um, for God's sake, work out your dust extraction. Um, bit of fun yesterday. I hadn't plugged this um, dear thing in for ages. And my neighbour Jeff came in and said, Hey Gavin, what's that? Let me show you, Jeff. It's great fun. It sands and flattens and does everything wonderfully. So, plugged it in, put a single piece of timber through it, and uh, just just one piece, one pass, very low. And uh, we were both choking with the amount of dust it chucked up. So, yes, um, another great part of my workshop is the fact that it looks like um, the background set to Terry Gilliam's um, Brazil with... Pipes leading here, into that, out of that, into this, all around. And um, in in yesterday, thanks to sanding, sawing, and what have you, yeah, I filled up the bucket. But um, that was yesterday. Today, I intend to finish sanding the body. And then I need to try and remember and go through my notes on neck shaping. Great to do. I can't remember various things. So my, my cheat is I do have a Telecaster neck here. So I'm just going to copy it. Seems to be a bright enough idea to me. Measure all the depths, make sure it's all fine. Take into account the uh -huh. fretboard on top. There she is. Should be a corker, hopefully. As long as um, I don't make any mistakes. But of course I will, and we'll all learn from them. Anyway, once again, thanks very much. Um, I'm going to try and work out how to do an end card so I can say um, subscribe here and there's a YouTube recommended video here, I think. Um, I'm also editing videos in the evening, so there will be things turning up on Fridays. Toodle pip!